Hey there. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into this. This is my first YouTube video. I'm going to finally do it. Uh, my name is Josh. I have been living in my camper van for the last three years. And currently I'm in New Mexico. Not a big fan of New Mexico. Uh, I've been trying to look for work in places around the country. And it seems like it's a trend for employers to also start ghosting you. I've had a couple promising leads and then out of nowhere, no response. Um, and yeah, it's getting kind of frustrating. Uh, I've got a couple thousand dollars right now from my last job that I saved up. And last night I was just thinking, you know what? Screw it. Go to the Northeast. Go to New York. Let's do it. Uh, so that's where we're starting right now, New Mexico. And I'm going to start driving east. I've never been out that way. New Mexico is the furthest east I've been in my van and I'm looking forward to getting out there uh, and just so happens to be that on the way I go through Kansas City. What's happening in Kansas City in a few days? The NFL Draft. Thought that'd be a pretty cool experience on the road so here we go. We're going to Kansas City. Gonna experience it. I already signed up for it. It was free. So yeah anyways don't know where this video is gonna go but I know where I'm gonna go, Kansas City. Let's go. All right, so on the road, I'm on I-40 here, uh, getting close to Texas. And of course I see a big billboard talking about a 72 ounce steak challenge. So what do I do? I gotta pull over, I gotta check out what is this thing talking about? Cause it wasn't on my way. It's kind of close. Not super close, it's in uh, Amarillo, Texas. And uh, I was gonna be taking a road that ventures up north of that way towards Kansas City. And uh, yeah, so basically just been sitting here on the side of the road for about five minutes now, uh, looking at it, researching it, and thinking if I can even do it. Uh, the, uh, the part about it that is gonna suck is if I can't do it, you gotta pay for it and it's $72. Um, and what's even funny about this is that my, uh, there's this thing called angel numbers and mine is 72. I see it everywhere, uh, no matter what, it's just everywhere to me. And so this is kind of like a, a sign. I'm also, I like eating a lot. I've only done one eating challenge before and it was spicy. This one is the quantity and this one is, I mean, that's like, I think they said it was like four and a half pounds of steak a baked potato, shrimp cocktail, a salad, and a butter, uh, a roll with butter. So I uh, figured there might not ever be another time I'm ever in this area. Uh, I want to do it. So I'm going to detour a little bit on the road here and go, uh, go make a memory, uh, regardless if I complete it or not. But here's hoping I complete it. Uh, there's only about an 11% success rate to it and you have to eat it within an hour uh so yeah i'm gonna hopefully be part of that 11 percent here so wish me luck i finally made it here to the big texan steak ranch i am going to try to dominate this challenge so And so apparently I have to go sit up basically like on a pedestal where everybody kind of can see you and knows what you're doing. So just waiting uh, for my food to be fixed and prepared and I'll be up there with the challenge. Good luck. I did it. 
and I'm fucking stuffed. It's crazy. All right, well guys, we are done. I am done. I uh, just got back from the steakhouse. Not back, but still here uh, in the parking lot. And I did it. I completed it with 32 seconds left. I figured I'd go in there with 20 minutes and be able to finish it real fast, but that was a lot of steak. Uh, probably 55 minutes worth of chewing steak consecutively and then finished off the potato and dinner roll and shrimp at the end. And I got the shirt. So I'm the 10,000th, 200th person to do this. And it was a super cool experience. Everybody was cheering me on. A lot of people kept coming up and giving me encouragement. And uh, the sweetest little girl was there who was super stoked about it. She kept coming up throughout her meal. I'm sure she kept leaving her family to come check on me and telling me I could do it, I could do it. And then the sweetest thing at the end, after I finished it and won the challenge, she comes up and asks me if she can get a selfie with me. Like I'm some type of like famous person uh, for doing this. Uh, it's always the cutest thing. Uh, once I got done, everybody was cheering me. Uh, once I stood up, so you can't stand up uh, while you're in the challenge or you're disqualified. So once I could finally stand up, which was so nice to be able to do after an hour of just filling my face full of food, um, stood up and then everybody started cheering again. This was, you know, a couple minutes at least after the challenge was over. They'd already cheered for me and then I stood up and it was the loudest roar. I've never had so many people kind of looking at me all at the same time. Uh, typically, I don't do very well in those situations, but this was a monumental part of the road for me, I'd say. Like, this was a super cool thing for me to just be on the road, not even have a clue about this. Start driving east through Texas and just start seeing billboards talking about this place. And I decided, why not? It was uh, $72 that I had to pay up front but you get refunded if you finish it. So that was what got me going towards the end. Uh, the fact that I did not want to spend a whole full tank of gas basically on dinner. Uh, I don't really have that kind of money right now. So kind of stupid to have been doing this, but also I, I thought I'd be able to do it. Uh, I can't believe it came down to 32 seconds. So it was 59 minutes and whatever, 28 seconds, whatever the math is. And so yeah, I was able to do it. Um, so yeah, it was, Pretty cool, I'm pretty full right now, but uh, it was worth it. Yeah. Got the uh, free t-shirt, and then it's got my stats on the back too. Uh, just what number I was with 10,200 person, the date I did it. Um, so yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, now I gotta go find somewhere to spend the night. I haven't even looked for that yet, for a spot to, to spend the night yet, but do that and hit the road again in the morning start uh, heading towards Kansas City. All right, well, good afternoon. I am still in Amarillo. Uh, kind of had a late day, it was a long night last night after eating all that food. Uh, yeah, it was like, I don't know if I said, it was like five and a half pounds worth of food in an hour. Uh, so yeah, I was struggling last night. I was for sure on the struggle bus. So something I probably will refrain from doing in the future, knowing how I felt. Uh, Definitely got a little sick from that. Uh, so yeah, not gonna do that again. I'm sure I probably will though. So stay tuned for more food challenges in the future. And uh, so anyways, yeah, in Amarillo I had to go, of course I wake up and the uh, TPMS is going off on my, my car. So low tire pressure somewhere. I figured I'd go to the tire store. I needed to get a rotation as well. So rotated the tires, got everything fixed up, just filled up on some gas and now I'm heading to Kansas by way of going through Oklahoma, I believe. So that'll be another new state, kind of cool. I'm not gonna like be exploring that state right now, at least since I'm on the way past it, but going there and then going into Kansas, I think I can make it close to Wichita. Uh, it's about five hour drive, five and a half hours. So it's gonna be a lot of driving, uh, but we'll see how far I make it. into Oklahoma. For 18 miles, continue straight. Kansas. 
All right, good morning guys from Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, so I made it here last night. Uh, it was dark out, I've been driving all day. Decided this was the spot. Uh, I found this place on my app. It is just a gas station, but with plenty of parking and it's okay to camp here for the night or sleep in your car for the night or what have you. So. Today, I'm about a three and a half hour drive from Kansas City. So I'm getting there, been uh, making a lot of a lot of miles up on the road, so can get going. All right, we are here. It is April 27th and I am in Kansas City, just parked, and going to head on over to the draft. It's about 11.30 or so right now, and uh, yeah, excited. Uh, something I found out uh, that I wasn't paying attention to when I signed up for this is that I'm just signed up for this free experience. Uh, so I'll be like outside of the draft where all you know activities are going on and all that. Um, I guess with a chance of getting in to the seating area for the draft, but I don't think that's likely, but maybe since I'm just rolling solo, there's maybe an extra one seat available or something and they'll let me in to fill in the crowd or whatever. So we'll see, but still excited to be here. Still was on the route to New York. So uh, yeah, excited to see what the NFL draft experience is like and uh, show you guys a little bit about what's going on here and what it's like.
super excited, blessed, man. I've been dreaming about this moment. I just want to thank you know, the Seahawks for giving me this opportunity. I promise they won't forget. All right, guys, so just wrapping up this video, um, pretty much just put all the clips together. This is all new to me, basically, but I wanted to make a little outro here. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, I'm new here, so bear with me. I'm sure the videos will get better and better. And if you're still here, you must have liked it. So please consider hitting the subscribe button as it would help me out here with this little venture I'm doing. Um, and yeah, look forward to bringing more videos, uh, as many as I can. I'm not sure how many I'll be able to put out there, um, and as fast as I can put out there, but yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, loved making it. Uh, it was a lot of fun actually, uh, and I feel really good right now. I'm kind of on a little bit of a, a high, I guess you could say, with creating this and making this and actually finally doing this after three years of saying I would do it. So, uh, yeah. Anyways. Thanks again for watching the video, because uh, clearly you're here at the end. Uh, hopefully it was fun to watch that little road. Everything was just unscripted. I didn't know anything was gonna happen, like going to the steak challenge, didn't know that was gonna happen. Uh, basically everything else I knew was gonna happen with going to the draft and recording stuff along the way, the drive and all that. So um, yeah, more videos to come. I've got some recordings already of uh, past stuff I've done and never made a YouTube video of. Uh, I think it's a couple hikes. So I'm going to go back and edit all that stuff up and make some videos out of that too. So stay tuned.